Welcome y'all to the Live PD series with Dust and the Live PD. Welcome guys. Hello there, Officer Rodriguez. Hello there, Officer Noodle. I got some questions before we start this. So what is your guys' biggest stop today or yesterday? Like, what are you guys' biggest stop today? Uh, I just came on shift. I don't know if Noodle has a, a good one. Uh, me and, uh, Captain Dotson ended up doing a, uh, traffic stop on a, uh, an 18-wheeler, uh, that was, uh, speeding on Grand Sonora Desert. Uh, it was a routine traffic stop and all, uh, ended up hitting some, uh, it kind of smelled like, uh, marijuana coming from the vehicle, uh, coming from the rig, so, uh, we asked the driver to step out, uh, we ended up conducting a search of the, of the trailer. And found uh, large quantities of uh, marijuana uh, that was hidden in uh, some frozen strawberries, which uh, I thought was uh, kind of funny. So is that like your biggest bust in a way? Like, what was your guys' biggest bust in a way? Like, name off like one thing in particular, like, uh, like a bust where you got like five pounds of marijuana or whatever. Like, what is your guys' biggest bust you have ever had so far? Um, I mean, I, I do have one of those situations. Uh, we had a uh, trooper recruit that pulled over, a uh, regular car, just just for speeding. You know, she's going a little bit over. Um, and we pulled that oh, the uh, elderly woman over. She's real nervous, you know. Um, nothing came back. Too clean. Uh, one of the troopers thought that she was suspicious. She was shaking a lot. Uh, so, we you know, we deployed K-9, our K-9 Zeus of the California Highway Patrol. Uh, he's over in the Sandy Shores Division. Great dog. Comes over, alerts us right away. There's a smell of one while we're on the car. Um, so, you know, we ask her, hey, is there anything illegal in the car? She has her granddaughter that, you know, drives the car when she doesn't. Uh, but just to, like I said, just the way that she was nervous, it didn't really make sense. So uh, further inspection, further search of the vehicle. Uh, we did find actually two pounds of marijuana uh, right in the back. Led us to uh, – actually, the grandmother was actually selling – for her daughter uh, to get her her down payment for her house. Hmm. You know, you hear these stories and you, you can't make them up. You absolutely uh, can't make them up, the things you see out there. That's true. So what about you, no Officer Noodle? What is your biggest bust? Uh, I mean, my, lar my, my, my largest bust was uh, that, that big rig because uh, we ended up uh, actually hauling out around uh, 50 pounds of uh, marijuana. Um, because wow. it, it was a rather large trailer. Wow. Uh, they uh, they literally just just filled it and uh, was in the middle of transporting uh, when uh, the driver uh, was going a little bit too fast on the wow. highway. So we ended up doing the traffic stop like like before. Wow. And we ended up uh, concluding the search with around 55 pounds of marijuana altogether. Oh wow. So what do you guys have for today? Like, what, what is my safety stuff for today on how I should be in your guys' cruiser? What should I do? Listen. Like, what is it? Like, what should I do for you guys for today as we I do a ride-along with one of you? Well, uh, I mean, uh, it's always safety first when it comes to people that are uh, riding along with us. There's a, a lot of liability risks involved with a. Uh, someone uh, riding along with a uh, an officer because uh, you you never know what uh what what can happen during a traffic stop or a, That's very true. A, a call but um as a way to conduct yourself uh just i mean just don't put yourself in harm's way just kind of listen to the officer on like where you should be going uh like kind of like common sense type thing if we're like in a traffic stop and uh, you hop out. Obviously, you don't go straight in the middle of the road. You just, I mean, be on the side where you're yeah. able to. Understandable. And like Officer Noodle said, I mean, when we when we show up to, you know, there's no such thing as a, a regular traffic stop. When we show up to that traffic stop, anything, you know, anything can happen. Uh -huh. So we want to keep you safe. That's why you do have a bulletproof vest. Um, yeah, I would. You, know, you guys we gave you, me. We want to stay behind us. Yeah, you guys gave me it. Beforehand. Correct. Correct. Just make sure my safety. You know, citizens is our main priority. Uh, safety yeah. of the citizens is our main priority. I uh, you know we're looking out for them. We're looking out for you. You know what I mean? So um, just kind of stay behind us at all times. You know, 
you think something's going to happen, just kind of get back in the vehicle. That's probably the safest place for you. You just yeah. never know what can happen out in these streets here. Very true, very true. So, how should we go by today? Like, uh, we're just chilling. We're getting some footage for the, you know, the channel that we have right now. You know, the little IPD channel. Of course. So, I, right my, my myself and I uh, would like to ride with one of you today just to get some footage. I can connect my camera to the your cruiser if you guys want me to. I'm assuming you guys have a back camera, correct? I can definitely put uh, one. We mainly have we, we mainly have the the dash cams. Uh, the only thing that we have in the rears are uh, rear radars. Okay, so would you guys be willing to let me put in my own camera for the rear so just in case for the 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 your guys' safety, I could do that, and then I can monitor it through my camera. Just because that would be a good idea. Yeah, no problem with it. Yeah, we can definitely do yeah, that beforehand. No uh, but I'm ready to go. Let's let's get to work now. Let's do this. Man, awesome. So uh, today we're going to be riding in a 2017 police interceptor, uh, commonly known as the Ford Explorer, out in the civilian world. Uh, yeah. This is the Highway Patrol version. It is fitted with a 3.5 twin turbo uh this thing's pushing almost 400 horsepower a little bit over 400 horsepower Ooh, I, love uh, it. I mean uh special transmission this truck absolutely screws uh which is great for us for uh disabled vehicles in the highway want to get there as quick as we can yeah. uh, the thing with the interceptors and the chargers as well they're especially fitted for police um you know we got the column shifters we have stronger transmissions uh, yeah, if you were to actually it. go in the back here you actually wouldn't be able to open up this hatch unless i were to push a button Inside. Oh, so it's like um, locked. It's, just, it's a safety all around for the officer. <laughs> Correct. It's a safety so, all around for the yeah, officer. Yeah, what about Officer Noodle's vehicle? I would love to know a little bit about his before we go. Uh, this is a 2016 uh, Dodge Charger. Uh, it's, a, it's the slick top version. Uh, it doesn't have the light bar on top. Uh, but uh, this is uh, mainly a pursuit vehicle. Uh, it does have a uh, Hemi engine uh, that is supercharged. Uh, just so that uh, we can be able to keep up with vehicles that uh, are a little bit faster. Ah, okay. Uh, we also do have these uh, skirt lights, so uh, because of this vehicle being so fast going through intersections and stuff, uh, it does it provide a little bit more Basically. visibility. Basically. Yeah, it provides a little bit more visibility to uh, pedestrians and stuff Okay. Uh, as we go through intersections to make us a little bit more safer. That's awesome. That's good. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. So let's get into the vehicle. Let me put my camera down so I can, let's uh, let's get it all connected up real quick and let me get a camera set up in your vehicle real quick. Let me open it up. Okay, let me put the camera down. Okay, let's see. There we go. There you go, officer. Go ahead. You're good to go. Let me... I have the camera on right now, just to make sure. Oh, we're actually going to skip forward. We want to go right to Polito. Okie dokie. Definitely. We Down just the road, uh, get there quicker so we can start this. No worries, man. No worries. Also, I think the officer behind us. You guys can hear me, right? Noodle, I'm gonna TP over there to save some time. Do you want to just TP to me? Got everything loaded in here. Yep, we're loaded. Okay. So, are you be are you gonna be doing a traffic stop today, or are you going to be doing more of a patrol kind of feeling today like what i what's mean the main thing you we'll, do? we'll see <coughs> the uh the highway patrol we're in charge of obviously patrolling the highways we patrol the main ways as well inside town so here in Polito, where the sheriff's office does have proper jurisdiction uh we'll come over we'll help them out we'll ride through the city you know make it known yeah. that highway patrol and so which is sheriff's office yeah you know we're a team together you know we're here to keep the community safe yeah um, that's what we do we, we patrol the main roads uh, we we get called for backup if need be. Um, we're gonna patrol the highway here. We can set up a sting here on like a 1011. Uh -huh. 1011, sorry, signal. 
100. Oh my god. Signal 11. No worries. Don't worry about it. You're good. So that's my favorite hiding spot right there to the right. Ooh. So let's hop in there. Okay. Let's see if we can catch him, buddy. Let's see that. We can also have another officer by us if, if they want. They can ask questions and stuff. Yep. This town actually does have uh, community officers. Uh, so kind of like the Explorers program. Ah. Yeah. All right. So right here to our left, we're gonna run signal here. So we're gonna run radar. Radar here, and then I. Radar what about here. the other officer? Should he run radar with the other? Uh, if he wants to, absolutely. Uh, kind of get tucked in right over here. It's our best spot. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I was about to say I don't think there's an issue with the uh, <coughs> office in the RDM. Okay, I'll I'll do that real quick then. Gray and red is not. Uh, he was helping us out. He was not our suspect. Oh, okay, okay, now so now I now I'm uh, into the cat or the RTO. I'm just gonna keep myself deafened just in case. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Um, now so before we do our everything, um, you would roll down the window so the camera doesn't go through the window, please. Gotta have to adjust. What's that? The camera looks like it's going through the window on my screen, but it's okay. That's fine as long as it looks. Let's go into first person. Let's get, let's get a little bit of a first person look to this. You can actually get RTO if you want, and um, mute yourself, but don't deafen so you can hear. Okay, okay yeah. I will. Here, you can call yourself in. I have an active person. Yeah. Is that 20 still near uh, Mount Chile? Unknown at this time, but HPO2 had a 1050, and he, uh, I'm not sure his status. Okay. Ping his radio and see if he's still up, because I'm not sure if he's fine. How exactly do I do that? Uh, go into online players, in the interaction menu, set a waypoint on him, and then... So, Officer Rodriguez, or how can I call you? What do you want me to call you? And what do you say his uh, name was? Call me, uh, Trooper Rodriguez. HPO2 Max B. Actually, the uh, commissioner of pilots. It's gonna be bright blue. Okay, I can call you Commissioner playlist. Rodriguez. So, what do you? I am what getting do you a do your, uh, uh, What should you... I spectate? No, just try. So, there. what do your officers do every on. day? I have to relog HP 57. I gotta mute. Sure, the safety, service, and security of uh, the citizens of San Andreas. Oh. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna come out. It looks like a two racing here. Okay, I'll uh, get ready. <coughs> so right now we got looks like we got two cars racing. Try to grab them. Okay, okay. I'll just get myself here for a second, and I'll let you guys take over. So we're gonna be running. That didn't happen. So they're gonna be running here. My uh, signal 100. Uh, we got a 1080 currently eastbound Great uh, Great Ocean Highway with a red uh, sports car and a gray sports car. I need additional 32s. And four uh, just... for Chris coming. 10-2, 10-2, 10-2, 10-22, 10-22. So, uh, Chris, 
like I was saying before we got interrupted by those guys. Um, so you were saying about your officers, how, what do they do usually some days? Oh, he's shooting. Well, we patrol the highways. Um, All officers, it's, uh... <coughs> okay. We ensure the safety and security of our citizens here in San Andreas. Okay. Uh, we help out anybody we can help out. Uh, mainly we're there for disabled vehicles. Uh, you know, it's not all cop chases and catch a bad guys. Yeah. You know, it's out there just being a strong uh, member of the community, helping out the community, and just being there when they need you. Yeah. So that that's good. And then, so for the other things, like, you're sure officers have, like, different idea like do they have like different cruisers different vehicles they can use on different things like off-road or we pursuit um, kind we do yes we do yes uh we used to have actually 23 highway patrol vehicles um once a vehicle was you know was given to a trooper they would keep yeah. it for well over 100,000 miles uh, okay. now what happened is the department actually got rid of our vehicles uh, we now are kind of unified, so we have the brand new Explorers, the brand new Taurus, um, the brand new Chargers. Those uh -huh. are primary vehicles at this current moment. Um, they're actually in the testing phase, and what that is is uh, each officer is assigned a different vehicle, uh -huh. uh, not by rank, but you know just by. Actually, hold on, I'm getting radio chat. We got we got an officer down. Uh oh. Hold on. So right now I'm gonna go code three. We just lights and sirens as we got an officer that just kind of 50, which means he crashed. Okay, dokie. Okay. I'll stand the. I'll keep myself going. Ten twenty two. My response. I've fallen through the world again. So, I'm not sure what happened. It's one of those things where you just never know what's going to happen when you roll on yeah. scene. I, I can see. When you have an officer down, you want to do everything in your power to get to them. Uh, you know, those are our brothers and our sisters. We want to make sure they're going to go on their family, all right? You might get mad at me for not putting my seatbelt on. Here. Oops. My bad. Oh, no. Definitely put that on. Yep. I get it. Go. I got it. We're gonna flash our sirens here, let them know we're coming through. We're on our secondary here. Okay, that way okay. it echoes through the woods. So you have like two or three, two or three uh, sirens, basically, right? Correct, yeah, di different whales. Uh, hold on. Looks like he's gonna be up here, getting radio chatter. Uh, the good thing about these interceptors is they are. Uh, intelligent all-wheel drive, so I don't even have to switch it to four-wheel. It just automatically picks up the slippage and puts that power to that wheel, which is great for these kind of vehicles in the snow, uh -huh. off-roading. I know it just looks like land, but it's actually a trail. Okay. Uh, you know, I was born and raised over here, so I know these backwoods like back of my hand. What's yeah. going on at the sawmill? HP code zero. So that basically means, uh, so you're the commissioner, correct, of the highway patrol? Come on, move, 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 move! Rear camera's on, so just in case you want to know. Up, oh, looks like they already code for it. Yep, yeah, they already code for it. I, I, I died so hard, you have no idea. <laughs> I went, you know that giant tunnel at the top of the yep. that goes in from the the forest into the other side here by the yeah. Alamo Sea? Yeah, yeah, I uh, I forgot that there's a huge steep drop off for the windy road there, so I'm doing about <coughs> 130 me. and just launched off of it. Ooh, nice. So I got a question yeah, for so you, I'm, real quick, I, I Officer Max. 
I'm here with the Live PD at, yep. channel. Uh, this is going to be a series I'm going to put up on a thing. So I'm going to ask you a quick question. So what do you do usually these days? I already talked to Commissioner Rodriguez on what he does. So what do you do in particular like when you go on patrol? Uh, I try to fill in roles I thought. So you know, if we need off-road units, and I fill in that off-road. Off we need motor units online to help uh, run radar, then I go and hop in a motor unit. We need more just standard foot patrol or general, then I hop in a normal marked unit. Or if you know, we need somebody who's, we need a supervisor, or we need a goddamn uh -huh. uh, undercover, then I hop in and do that. Okay. I just try to fill the roles and uh, take up what's needed. Well, thank you, Officer Max. I appreciate it. Well, we'll Trooper. see you later. God damn it. Trooper Max, my bad. There you go. Thank you so much. Have a good one. So like I was saying before, right. um, so your daily job is basically making sure everyone does their job, knows how to drive and somewhat, right? Correct. So what happens when one of them gets out of line? Do you like have to like talk to them or whatever? You know, like... our troopers are highly trained. Yeah, they go through a seven month academy. Um, and it's, you know, ah. an academy that you don't go home at the end of the day. Okay, I you get know, it. they're in bunks. Um, Monday through Friday, they get to go home to the family on, you know, Saturday and Sunday weekends. Um, and, and we teach a lot of discipline. The guys okay. that we have are out of the Marine Corps, they're out of the Army, the Air Force. Um, you know, they're looking for that same kind of discipline. Um, yeah. Uh, when they're in the academy, they are trained on respect, uh, integrity. Yeah. Uh, that's number one. And, and discipline as well. And, and when we get them out on the road... You know, you don't expect any, any disrespect or anything like that. They're, yeah. they're well trained. I understand. Um, in my line of work, I've, I've been in higher patrol for about, Lord, 16 years now. Um, and I've never, not once, had to discipline in a trooper myself. Um, I've had other people that have had to discipline them, uh -huh. um, you know, for minor things. But we've had nothing. Yeah. I'm proud to announce that. We've had nothing. Um, and I think it becomes more of the leadership. Uh, you know, we're not sitting behind an office desk. Uh, that was just HPO one that you just <laughs> HPO two. I'm sorry that you talked to uh, Max. Ah. He's my assistant commissioner. You will never see the both of us behind a desk. You will never see the both of us. So sitting you guys in are office. like always out. Uh, you right? will see. Correct, correct, and that's what shows about the leader. You know, um, a true leader is is, is going to lead the people. We're going to lead with the people. Okay. Um, you know, we're not going to be just sitting at a desk demanding they do stuff. We're out with them every single day with the men yeah. of the California Air Patrol. Um, okay. And we love it. We love every single moment of it. Okay. So like that, that is really cool. I, <coughs> excuse me. Hold on. Like, uh, so yeah, like that's really cool to hear. Like, so you in particular, you have, you went through a lot of routines and stuff to get to where you are. Have you ever had one, one thing in, in your whole cop life or career that you have ever just broke it down broken down crying just because if you accidentally shot your own officer maybe like is that uh no i have i have not done that and i tell you what um you know everybody looks at us like, like we're the bad guys um in reality you know every day i leave my family i leave my kids and, and i go out to protect yeah and you know i may not come back and and that's kind of like the fact that you got to realize is you know you're walking out that door and you may never walk back in uh, people, you know, <laughs> they want to say the cops are the bad guys, but the first person you call is 911, and I'm on the other end of that, you know, and I'm there to help you out. I'll and, give um, you a, I'll give you a break I'll on that. I'm there to help you out, and, and that's what people need to realize that not all of us are bad. Yeah. Uh, we're there to help. Yeah. And we put our lives on the line. So, like, I think, too, is, you know, the stuff that you see out there, you can't help but take it home with you, ooh. you know. The kid. What does that guy do? Alright, so right now we're going Oh my lord, you're gonna have to start this over again. There's too much shit going on right now. Hey! Hey! Rod, they're just. They're blatantly just doing that. Well, okay then. Give me one second. It's hey, a... stop the GTA driving, Bro, please. What just Bro, no. I DB'd your vehicle because you're running away from me. Can you please Why? stop GTA you driving? Can't just, you can't just delete my vehicle. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure I just did. I'm doing an illegal U-turn and a running a red you're light. You're not... Okay, so you're cop-baiting yeah, cop now. Baiting. That, no, I mean, like, that's just what okay. I'm doing. No, no, nobody in their right mind is going to go around two units just to run a red light. Can I, can I go now? Yeah, you can go around. Uh-oh. I'm gonna meet my... Uh, be, hold on, guys. We're gonna take one break. Break for one quick second. Hold on. And we're back. <coughs> oh, we got to speak. Alright, so right, right now. There. Yep, correct. I saw that. So we're gonna pull up here. It's gonna go through the red light. So right now, uh, this hearse just took a left out of there. Uh, quite in a hurry, okay. so we're gonna see what his hurry is. Okay. okay. Can't. All right, so if you just want to stay in the car, we're gonna do okay, a okay. stop. Just roll down the window, and you can hear. Uh, you're you you're you're able to go back tonight. I was actually gonna see if I could uh, ten nineteen with you. Uh, not right now. Good evening, sir. But uh, good evening. Hello, how we doing today? Doing pretty, pretty good. How about yourself? I'm, I'm doing okay. Are you nervous today? What's, what's going on? Uh, Sweating a bit. No, no, no I'm, I'm fine. Hmm. Noodle, watch his hands. So you got your license and registration for this first here, and is uh, there a deceased body in the back? Uh, yes, yes, deceased body, yeah. Mm-hmm. And where are you transferring the body, sir? Sandy Sandy Shores. Sandy Shores. Sandy. Okay. So you know you should be driving with the uh, certificate. Also, you got registration for this vehicle because it's not coming back as registered. We need your license as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's company, so it shouldn't be registered in my name. A noodle, he's sweating. See what you can, see what you can say. All right, let me see your license. And what's that name going to be on? Yeah. All right, Andrew Slongdong. Stand by for me, Andrew. Okay. <coughs> Fuck! I don't know how to spell visibly. All right. So right now, we pulled over this hearse. He came out of that side street extremely quick. Took a uh -huh. left. He could have sideswiped the car. You know, very dangerous driving. I uh, ran the play. He doesn't come back to anything. He's really, really nervous. He's very fidgety with his hands. Um, he doesn't look like the typical hearse driver. Um, so right now we do have his license. It, it does look a little bit like him. Um, you know, these licenses are taken every five years. So we're going to run it and see what we come back to. But he's real fidgety. So right now we have his uh, share of noodle over there. He's just watching his hand. You know, you, you never know what these can turn into. So I'm going to run his name right now and see what comes up. 
Okie dokie. I'll uh, zoom my camera on to uh, off their doodle. You doing all right there, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. So no, you're gonna I pull up his record. You see right here. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. warrants, and they're all for murder. Oh. Looks like he did time at uh -huh. Blaine County. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's got arrest for felony driving, active warrant for murder. That's actually inactive right now. So this is actually, see what I mean? This is a very dangerous individual. Um, and right now at the moment, we have him pulled over. He's already been to jail for murder. Looks like he just got out. And now he has an unregistered purse. So there's never a normal day in the day of a Leo. So now we're just going to dig some more and see what we can find. Okie dokie. But if you need me to, I'll just keep the cameras. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, hey uh, he, yeah. he's sweating real bad. Do you just, uh, you yeah, want to pull him out? I know he is. He has, uh, looks like he just got out of jail. He handed me his jail card as well. He got out about a week ago. So I don't know if he get a job that quick. And I don't, this hearse doesn't come back registered. That's my main thing. So usually these are registered. So I don't know if it's a stolen plate or I have them to step out. This is it's getting awkward. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Go ahead here. and step out. All right, Andrew, do me a favor. Go ahead and step out of the car for me. Uh, I can't do Andrew? that. Andrew, why not? I can't go back to jail. Andrew, Andrew, step out of the car. I can't go back. Andrew, Andrew. Uh, uh oh. Right, I'm gonna so take primary. Go ahead, take primary. So now we're in a 1080. That subject is running. We'll go over there. I have the cameras on still, I just want to let you know, Officer Rod Commissioner Rodriguez, I have them on my rear and the front camera. Thanks. Taking a left here. All right, so it looks like we have additional 1080s going on right now. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, this is a dangerous individual. Usually we would deploy Star Chase, which uh -huh. is, uh, actually he's going to deploy Star Chase right now. That's going to be a little sticky GPS tracker that's going to track this individual. Okay, okay. So right now, SO10 is going to pit him. You're going to see that occur right here. Oh. Ooh. And he's... Oh, oh. I don't know how that worked. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't always go with his plan. So now we're going to be the primary unit here. We're going to go in for a pit so we can get that. Good okay. So you're gonna let the other unit take over for you? Uh, yep. As soon as he gets up here, he'll let me know on the radio. He's gonna take over. But right now, the subject is in sight. If he takes a left. We're gonna try to go in for a pit. Ah, oh. Now I'm stand by. Now we're stomping. And now's a perfect time. Go in for a pit. Here we go. Nope. Keep it on such. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah, so now so now we gotta end this chase right now. That officer behind us and see if that's up there something. So now we're gonna stop the subject.
But now he's pitted. Let's see he's the truth. Pitted. Get out of the car! Get out! Get out! Get out! We'll go around, we'll go around. Watch it. I can't, I can't get out of the car. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't you move. Alright. Uh, SO10. Right. SO10. Grab him from the passenger. <laughs> I got I got him on. You move one muscle. Don't you move at all. Keep your hands up. Do you understand me? Yes, sir, do understand. you understand me? I understand. Keep your hands up where I can see them and do not move. All right, go ahead and put your hands behind your back. All right, so right now we're gonna block off this lane. Okay, okay. It is uh, Blaine County. You mind so if I get out and get some uh, pictures real quick? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, we'll do. <coughs> get a screenshot of this real quick. What am I gonna find on you? Uh, Andrew, uh, what are you running for? Andrew, look at me. What are you running for? So, uh, and you realize you didn't have any warrants. In the back. Andrew, you know, if there's one thing I can say good about you, is you are very honest. You're a very honest man, and I appreciate that truly. What kind of guns and what drugs you got in the back? I have cocaine and AK-47s in the back. Andrew, you just got out. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Uh, I have too many felonies. Nobody's going to hire me. The only way I can go <laughs> is back to the streets. <coughs> Andrew, Andrew, there are plenty of programs that we have for you to get back on your feet out there. Did you even try any of them? Before you went back to the street? I wasn't even offered any of them. Have you have you seen my know, record? Hey, hey James, I, carry on. I did, please. yeah. Can you uh can you guys carry on somewhere else, please? Oh no, never mind, Terry. Uh James, go ahead and carry on. James, go ahead and carry on. James, you will be detained and arrested if you do not carry on. Uh, Terry, if you can go ahead and put him in the back of your car, that'd be great. About that. Alright. I know. Andrew. I searched him. He's got nothing on. Besides Dude, his I, cell phone, I, I have, it's a burner. I have a buddy of mine that, unfortunately, he is, he is a felon. And I mean, like, it's sad to see your friends on the other side of law, but, uh, but uh, I mean, he he does have a job. Is he, he's he's a trash man. I mean, like, I know it's not I know it's not good work, but I mean, like, it it pays good. And and, and they they able they're able to hire felons. There there's a lot of jobs out there, man, that can uh, that can hire felons, and you're able to support your uh, your family and everything. Who's gonna hire a murderer? I mean, it just, it just, it just really depends on who it is, and. Have I you mean, seen how you, many you murders I have on my record? I mean, I haven't looked at your record personally, but. I mean, like, man, there, there's other things to do instead of going to the streets and, and ruining their life and just getting back into a rut. Because, I mean, like, you got, you got to, you got to hit rock bottom once you, and until you're able to get back up again, you know. And this what, is the quickest way for me to make money so I can make a living. I'd rather not get started. <laughs> I mean, quick money isn't always good money, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, uh, HP01, I did find some cocaine and an AK-47. In the yeah, 47. And, uh, I just found a pistol on the passenger seat as well. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, this is just another example of, you know, he had that pistol right there. Uh, he could use it on any one of us, and we cannot be going home tonight. So it's, I, it's I definitely. Mean, I mean, you can see me right now, like, uh, like during normal patrol, you, you can see I have a, 
a ballistic vest on, because you never know how deadly a traffic stop can get. It's dangerous out here. All right, Noodle. Um, Sheriff Noodle, we're gonna hop Actually, back if, in. Actually, uh, if you can, uh, are you going to transport him? Uh, because uh, I got to uh, yeah, ten forty-two. Okay. Okay, I'll be get back in the vehicle. So, uh, is there anything you need on my end or anything else like that before ten forty-two? Uh, best man. Uh, nothing right now. Uh, just your uh, on just what happened. If you want to talk to me about it, on why why you stopped him, what he's getting arrested for, and yada yada. All right. Let's go over here. It's in case. It's not going too far. My bad. Wait, come here. So get away from them. I'll have. Okay, go ahead. All right. So initially, uh. Trooper Sorry, Rodriguez over there uh, ended up uh, initiating a uh, traffic stop on the, the Hearst for coming off of a, a turn rather too radically. He actually uh, okay. ended up running the stop sign there. Uh, once uh, once we did have him stopped, uh, the suspect did uh, kind of look a little fidgety. Uh, he was sweating a lot. He was really nervous. Uh, once we uh, did ask him to step out of the vehicle, um, he really didn't want to and ended up uh, taking off on us. And that's when... Uh, uh -huh. The pursuit uh, ensued. Uh, there was multiple times where uh, we attempted a, uh, a pit, pit maneuver, uh, which uh, here in the department uh, aids in ending a pursuit rather quickly and controlled like. Um, as you did see during the pursuit, while we were driving, how I was yeah. in front of the vehicle, uh, that is called a rolling roadblock. It's to stop the vehicle, uh, and it's another way to stop the vehicle in a safe manner. Okay. Um, but uh, okay. once we did stop him here, uh, we uh, got him at gunpoint. Uh, once we uh, conducted a search of the vehicle, uh, we found uh, multiple firearms and drugs. Uh, and it, it just shows you how deadly this could have gotten. Uh, if he would have reached out and grabbed it, he, he could have gotten uh, I or uh, Trooper Rodriguez over there. And uh, it would have it not ended good. But his charges today are going to be a uh, felony evasion, uh, possession of uh, narcotics, uh, possession of a altered uh, weapon, uh, possession of an illegal firearm, and uh, Grand Theft Auto, uh, since that is a uh, stolen vehicle. Yeah. But uh, right now, as you see, that uh, uh, one of our community officers over there is... Uh, Taking pictures and getting it all uh, ready for the the prosecutor's office, and then uh, once we get the scene cleared off here, uh, we're going to call a uh, county tow to tow to our uh, impound lot, where we would uh, further uh, do a more thorough search of the vehicle, see if there's any more, uh, see if there's anything else inside there that we can add any charges on. Uh, once we get the vehicle impounded and after the court hearing and everything uh, the vehicle can be released to uh, the owner uh, but at this time he is uh, placed under arrest okay thank you yeah, no problem thank you, officer noodle thank you for your service too appreciate it thank you let me put away the camera real quick and then bring it out because it broke all right here you go <laughs> Let's take some pictures of the vehicles. All right, uh, Trooper Rodriguez, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go 1042 10 7. 10 I'll uh, I'll uh, be 10 8 in roughly about 45 minutes if you're still on. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, so Dustman can get with him after. Yep, yep. Hop All right. Off. I can go hop with uh, right. uh, Richards. Uh, he wants to. And the lovely Caprice here. Actually, yeah. Let me, Richards, stay here. Richard, do you mind doing a, a live PD thing with Dustin? Show him around. Ah, uh, yeah, show one up. Okay. okay. Um. Wait. So Dustin, I'm gonna give you a good exit here. Here, let's let's go over here real quick. I'll get your exit. Come here, Commissioner Rodriguez, right over here. Hey, I mean, just quick, over here. Get the headlight. Is the is the right headlight up? Uh, a... kind of. It's okay. Here we go. Uh, well, you're good to go. That's all I was gonna say, but you can go with Jay Richards. 
Here, just say your one last thing, and then just tell the tell me what happened with the guy that you just pulled over and what just occurred in the whole situation, which I got from Mister Officer Noodle, which I just talked to him about it. Yep. But I would like your point of view from it, if that's okay. Yeah. So exactly what exactly what Sheriff uh, Noodle said. Uh, you know, we're we're here to aid the sheriff's office. It's their jurisdiction, uh, so we're here to help any way we can. After this chase here, as you can see. Um, I only have one headlight, so this truck, this vehicle is not equipped to drive on public roads. So what we have is we going to tow it back to the garage, have it fixed. Okay, uh, okay. As of right now, we're going to do scene control. So you have my cruiser blocking off the road. Uh, we do have um, Sheriff Richards here. Uh, he's a great sheriff. I've, I've rode with him before. Uh, I'm going to have him. You want to have you go with him? Uh, okay. Patrol Polito Bay. See what else you guys can get. Okay, okay. Thank you. Commissioner Rodriguez, I will see you later. Enjoy that caprice. I will. Let's go. Yep. Yeah, Richard, just be aware. People are acting like asses. So you might have to replay a couple. Yeah. Yep. Roll down your window real quick. Let me install my camera to your car real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm stuck. Here we go. So I got a question for you, Richard. What do you do for a living, man? Uh, well, right now I uh, work with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office uh, as a staff sergeant. And uh, <clears throat> I do the average cop duties a uh, little bit of staff work with the uh, department, but uh, that's about it for me right now. Okay, sweet. So let me make sure I have my seatbelt on. Oof. Well, how about we do this? How about we go and see what everyone else is doing, get everything. I might ask you some questions a little bit, depending on how it works, you know? So you do what your other officer does, your commissioner does, right? Yeah, basically. Okay, so... Except in the sheriff's type of thing. Okay, cool. So right now we just had a really cool stop with uh, uh, Commissioner Rodriguez and then Sheriff Noodle, which was really cool. Yeah. Uh, that was That went really well, and also, like, there's other things that would go well today. So yeah, uh, let's see. Let's let's figure out. Let's go to the station real quick and get some questions from the other officers and stuff. I might do that real quick. Yeah. So yeah. <coughs> so you're. So you do what everyone else does. So you're like your commissioner and everything, yada yada. Uh, and also, like, do you do do like traffic stops, do all those kind of things, like them, or is it like different for you? Because you're you're secure. You said you're a sheriff officer, correct? Yeah, ten four. Okay, sweet. Oh, we also have some other officers I can talk to too. That's okay. We can talk to some of them. Get their point of view on what they do. That would be sick. What ring do you have to be to drive around these cars? So, for HP right now, because there's a lot more oh, vehicles I got a question for that, like my dude. Ten coming. Okay, so I'm gonna go get my camera ready. Let me uninstall it from your... But, uh, oh, right, right now, it's pretty much as long as you're not a trooper recruit. You get to drive pretty much any of the cars, oh, uh, except for the unmarks. That's for our detective. Okay, uh, okay. so... Let me let me go grab yeah. this officer over here. <sighs> officer Max, can I have a word with you, please? I am gonna bitch slap the shit out of you. Uh oh. You know it ain't, officer. And I know you know it ain't. I know. So would you like to talk? <laughs> Call me officer one more goddamn time. Sure, why not? Okay, officer. come over here. <laughs> How you doing, Richards? <laughs> So I got a question for you. Uh, there's a lot I'm, of. I'm, so what do you do for your job in this 
Officer like I'm, love. I'm free to go. Hang on, give me a sec. I got a bunch of people chattering out the air radio. Yeah, no worries. Slash jail me for 120. <laughs> Take your time. All right, there's a lot of things I was going to talk about. Um, so I just talked to Richards about what he does for a living. Um, what do you do for a living? Like, are you part of the sheriff uh, department or what? What is your department right now? Hang on, sorry. I'm. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta go do a staff thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ruin your recording. I want to help you with this, but I gotta do a staff. No worries. That's fine. Well, Richards, are you ready to go? Um. Yeah, I'm good to go. Okay. Let's go get ready and go do a 1011 and I'll end the the live PD series in about 10 minutes. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, you might want to roll down the window. You gotta put some wacky stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, don't I'm worry about to it. Get the window rolled down. That's okay, don't worry. If you're using a keyboard or mouse, you can just hit down on a D-pad or something. Works easy. That's the being list. That's a okay. soft thing. I, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Oh, we got a person that's driving like a maniac. It's okay. I don't. Yeah, no, I've like, So yeah, like for me in particular, I... We'll be doing these a couple times, uh, getting in with the, some of the police officers and seeing what we can do. Ask them some questions. See if we can get into like doing a lot of different things with them. So like a ride along at times and then get the camera going and stuff. Still have everything attached, so we're good. Yeah, I'm hoping uh, some you get some good shots up here tonight and pull you there. I definitely did. To be honest with you, I really did. Um, yeah, it's just we gotta figure out next time not just to make sure everyone's on a roll. I might get some police officers together and like ask them some specific questions together, like get a huge group of pictures or something on how I feel. You know, like get a huge group of cruisers together just to take a photo and then put that on the top of the banner, you know? Get that going. See what that feels like, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, how about we go just driving around, I'll ask you some more questions, and I'll end the live PD series, because I got to do some stuff. I got some other stuff to do. But yeah, definitely, if you want to tell me more about, like, what, what do you like to use as a cruiser? Like, what is your favorite in particular? Um, well, I do like my Explorers, but uh, at this time... They're very slow. We're trying to get them tweaked. So, uh, I haven't been riding them. I mean, uh, I've been in this Caprice a lot because, uh, -huh. uh, it's Sheriff exclusive. So I like it. Uh, it's really fast. You can turn corners really well. It's just all around a pretty good car. Ooh. So, that, is that one of your other favorites that you like? Yeah, um, I'm not allowed to drive the Charger yet, but, uh, on my next rank as Lieutenant, uh, when I get to that rank, I will be authorized to drive Sweet. the Charger, and that'll be my new favorite. That's awesome. So, just waiting for that. Yeah. So that's all. That's the only but, thing. Yeah. Yeah. At the moment. Uh, what about your? Oh, uh, this master. So what about your other uh, fellow officers? So when you see them like doing the, like a uh, huge like 1032 or whatever, like a traffic stop or something, or that's when you send send someone over to you. Never mind. Um. You have to be cautious with everything, right? Like, I had to be cautious with, uh, when I was riding with you, or riding with, uh, Commissioner Rodriguez, is because he won, he was fearing for my safety, so I made sure I stayed in the car until you, they got him arrested, so then I can, uh, so then I was able to get my situation going, like, get some photos, ask the police officers about the things, stuff, but yeah, that, that turns out pretty well. Uh, you want to pull over for one second? 
gonna pull over into the gas station. We can end off with a bang. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, we have a 1011 going on right now up ahead. Oh. He's not wanting additional, so. Okay, well. You need to go into the gas station. Go to the police station. Go into the police station. Go into the gas station, record, And then, uh. Yep. I'm gonna take a photo before we go. So if you want to stand, stand at your car and then we can end it off. With the bang. Uh, do you want to do, uh, flip the lights on? Yeah, flip the lights on. Uh, you might want to flip around so it like, looks a lot cooler. Yeah, I'll, uh, flip around into this open area. Like right here. Sweet. So now, okay, now you can hop out of your car and say... This is going to be the end of the Live PD series. Thank you for coming in and hanging out. Bye.